Bom dia, my dear friends. Welcome to another episode of Ralph's New Life in Nature here at the Algarve in Portugal. This morning I have here George and Vladimir and we are having our morning coffee as always, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. <laughs> so George and Vladimir will not be actually in the uh, focus for this uh, episode, but uh, you will see that in two weeks. Uh, we are still continuing on the work to make the cover on the Cisterna and there will be also some other works that you will see then in two weeks again. So I thought that this time I will focus a little bit more on decoration and uh, you saw already in the intro uh, I have some really nice pots with uh, succulents. I want to show you that the beauty of that and also some beauty inside the house so I got some uh, really nice stuff a sofa and some other stuff for the guest area which I want to show you. So I'm standing here in front of my uh, veggie garden and the garden workshop you see over there in the shade. And I thought I'd just give you um, a kind of an instruction how I actually prepare the soil for these pots, for these succulents. And I'm gonna show you now here, uh, you see that behind me, what I do, okay? So for the soil, I take a third of each. You see here on the right side, this is the naturally occurring terra, the soil here. And then in the middle, this is just white sand. And here, this is compost soil, right? So I mix that all together and then I put it in these pots here. You see? And this is a pot that did not have any opening uh, on the back side. And George helped me to drill a hole, you see that later. Um, and then I just plant all kinds of different succulents where I think they fit nicely together and uh, this is a kind of an experiment because you never know how they uh, like each other and if they really love the same uh, conditions and the soil and whatsoever. It's kind of a natural selection process here but those ones who are really propagating um, I'm gonna then uh, uh, divide them and put them also in, in other pots as well. So here you see another example that I have just put together. This is another pot with a big uh, succulent and I still need to put here this kind of uh, natural occurring um, gravel uh, onto the top which makes it even more uh, looking more nicely 
and uh, here I'm gonna show you some of these really nice uh, succulent spots. This is uh, a succulent that I had actually here already in the garden but it was not really growing because it was somewhere down in the shade and now you see how nicely this grows. And then here I have many more pots and I took pictures of all these pots and then you can enjoy these these uh, nice really uh, colors uh, and the diversity in these pots. So I have a special task for George for my pots. With all the rain, there are few pots that uh, are not, the water is not draining. And how George <laughs> is drilling a hole the last one, look, look, look. inside, underneath okay. these pots. I got it, oh yeah. Thank you, George. Good job. <laughs> Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah, this was the biggest one here, which is standing on the plaza. I show you also the other ones. Great, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Vladimir is helping also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful, obrigado. <laughs> So now that uh, winter time has arrived, uh, I feel really happy that some last pieces for decoration in my house have arrived. And I'm sitting here actually now on my sofa uh, and it makes the room so cozy. You saw already the fireplace here and I'm sitting here in front of my whiskey bar, although I have to confess now that I don't drink whiskey at all. <laughs> I don't know why, why I said that uh, one time that I have a whiskey bar, maybe because I was thinking of the song of the doors that I had in my mind. So I rather prefer also some really good red wine that you see over there. So I want to show you uh, just a few missing pieces here and uh, give you just a glimpse how um, the, the decoration looks like here in the um, fireplace launch area and also in the guest area, okay? So I show you another round view here in the fireplace area. I have my, my wood here, as you can see, and the fire is on um, and I can really enjoy the cinema view here from my sofa uh, from the projector that is above me and I have also a Sonos sound system uh, in this room and uh, now let me stand up and show you the view around. This is the old sofa which I had actually in the kitchen and now I want to show you the new sofa that has arrived here in my kitchen area just walk around Ta -da! <laughs> this is a four seat sofa from Sklum no commercial I really like this uh, company and this is really cozy here together with uh, this lamp here which illuminates the room really quite nicely you have seen this in one of my last videos and now I want to take you to the first guest room again here. 
And what is new here, finally I received the head for the bed, which is really nice wood, kind of mango wood. And this fits nicely with the boho style here in the guest area. And I wanna take you also to the other guest area. For those of you who haven't seen the guest area yet, this is uh, the kitchen again. And um, here you have the other guest room and also <laughs> the same head for the bed. There's a propeller here for summer times when it's getting too hot here. Yeah, the kitchen is also really nice. This is the door where the guests will come in. And uh, for those who haven't seen the grotto, the bathroom here, <laughs> turning on the light here. Hello. <laughs> okay, now going back again. Hope you enjoy this and uh, yeah. So the guest area is open for those of you who want to spend some time here um, during the next winter, also summer, just um, let me know and maybe we can find a time for you. I forgot to mention one important finding. You see this old pan here. <laughs> this pan is full of rust and we found this during the digging in the vineyard. <laughs> and uh, the workers, they wanted to throw this away and I rescued it. And now it's standing here on the sill of the fireplace. I really enjoy this. I put a candle behind it and it creates a really nice cozy atmosphere here. 